Now, Stormwatch 12 weather with meteorologist Josh Culbreth. Welcome back to Newswatch 12 midday. Right now you're taking a look at some clear skies in Klamath Falls. Also a windsock there, which is apparently Cameron Baver's favorite thing on the planet. So since we're seeing those clear skies, that means that the atmosphere is starting to destabilize a little bit. And we're going to continue to see more of that into Jackson and Josephine counties and portions of Siskiyou County too. So this means that there will be the threat for some Thunderstorms popping up a little bit later today. In fact, probably by the end of Newswatch 12 midday, we'll have something forming in Klamath and Lake counties. So let's time it all out with Stormcast. By the time we get to the peak of daytime heating, 4, 5, 6 p.m., that's when we'll have more showers and thunderstorms, mainly for inland areas. The main threats, just like yesterday, will be for some small hell, some gusty winds, for some torrential downpours, which could pose a risk for some landslides in and around existing burn scars. But the biggest thing we're going to be concerned about will be the abundance of lightning. The sun will go down. Most of the thunderstorms will lose their fuel. Could have a few showers lingering to the east of the Cascades. Then we'll be mainly dry into Thursday morning. But here we go again. Another wave of showers and thunderstorms to the peak of daytime heating on Thursday afternoon and evening. However, it does look like the chances for hell and winds will go down. But potentially the chances for lightning could go up a little bit. And then once again, the sun goes down, maybe just a few showers lingering to the east of the Cascades, but I think most of the thunderstorms will go by the wayside. Here's your outdoor dining forecast for today for the Rogue Valley, going with three stars for right about now, just because the clouds are clearing out. You'll get a little bit of sunshine. Again, that midday lull feels pretty nice. It's mostly cloudy and 75 outside right now, but then into dinner time, there will be that chance for some thunderstorms. Quite a few will pop up on the map. So in addition to the thunderstorms, today will also be on the balmy side. Now we're going to be cooler compared to yesterday, but we'll still be about 10 degrees above average for this time of the year. That'll place us near 80 degrees to the east of the Cascades, mid 80s for our west side valleys and near 60 there along the coast in Brookings. And then for this evening, could have a few showers lingering in southeastern Siskiyou County, for Klamath County, for Lake County, but the rest of us should be dry with partly to mostly cloudy skies. And overnight lows will still be on the mild side, but maybe just a little bit cooler compared to this morning. So we'll be near 50 degrees over on the east side, near 60 for our west side valleys, and right at 50 along the coast in Brookings. So a similar forecast for Thursday, but then I think we start to dry out a little bit more into Friday, but especially into Saturday. So we just got to make it through these next couple of days, and then I think we can take a, a bit of a sigh of relief, but not a complete one, as we still will have some chances for lightning in the forecast. And we got some new data from the National Interagency Fire Center, and we're still going with an elevated risk for a, a large fire start for today, for tomorrow, for Friday. But this time it's for the west side of Southern Oregon and for the Klamath Basin in Cascade. So I'll show you some of those numbers to back that up coming up a little bit later in the show. Here's that seven day forecast for the coast chance for showers today. A less prevalent chance as we head into Thursday and Friday and then finally some more sunshine over the weekend. For Siskiyou County showers and storms likely for today and tomorrow then just a chance for Friday drying out for Saturday and then we have another little wave of storms for Sunday and Monday. We still got to work out some of the details when it comes to that. And then for the east side, also showers and storms likely for today and tomorrow. Then less substantial chances starting on Friday. For the Cascades and Siskiyous, we will also see the most significant chance for showers and thunderstorms today through the next couple of days, but then starting to relax things just a little bit over the weekend, although we'll still have some lingering chances for showers and storms. And then for the Rogue Valley, pretty consistent chances for thunderstorms Wednesday through Friday, starting to dry out a little bit over the weekend. All right, thank you, Josh. Um, do you know why it's called a windsock? Probably because it looks like a sock. I would have to, I would have to guess. See, meteorologists, we use anemometers for wind direction and speed, which is different from a windsock, so I couldn't, couldn't really tell you. Okay. You know who invented the windsock, right? Who? John Windsock. <laughs> Good joke. Yeah, thanks. I need that for my Wednesday. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Cameron. <laughs> Thank you, Josh.